Hello everyone, welcome to this CM Builder tutorial where we will learn how to add resources to your site plan and cover the basics for utilizing resources. Click on Resources and Equipment to access the CM Builder resource library. You'll find an extensive catalog of built-in resources that can be used to build your site plans. Note many of the resources are parametric so you can scale or adjust them to fit the specific conditions of your site. Also, resources that are based on a specific product or supplier are built using the product specs. You can either use the search bar to find the resource you are looking for or browse through the various categories. If you can't find what you need, don't worry. Just submit a resource request and our team will create it for you. For this tutorial, let's use a crane as an example. Go to the Equipment and Vehicles category and select Fixed Cranes. Type in a word to see all cranes with that description or simply scroll and select your desired crane. A preview of the crane will follow your mouse and you will also see different placement options on the side sheet. There are three placement options, Point, Polyline and Guided. The placement option will be specific to the resource type. Some resources will have multiple options available. In this video we will focus on the Point Placement method, which allows you to place one resource at a time. Simply click anywhere on your map or buildings to place the resource there. The resource will appear with its default configuration, and you can view all relevant information in the menu on your right hand side. The commands used to manipulate resources will appear adjacent to the side menu. To move the resource, click on the Move button or use the shortcut M or T key. Drag the arrow handles along the X, Y, or Z axes to adjust its position. Alternatively, you can move the object in one plane by selecting one of the three blue squares at the origin of the axes. To rotate a resource, select the Rotate button or press the R key. The rotation handles are divided into three selectable parts. The main horizontal circle allows you to rotate the object along the Z axis. Hover your cursor over this circle and a vertical line will indicate the rotation axis. Click and drag the circle to rotate your object along the Z axis. Hover your cursor over the vertical quarter circles and a horizontal line will indicate the other rotation axis. Click and drag this circle to rotate your object along the X or Y axis. Hold the Shift key to snap the rotation to 45 degree increments. To position a resource in relation to an existing geometry, select the Snap button or press the S key. This tool requires three simple steps. First, select a face on your active resource. Then, select a reference existing face. This can be an existing building, another resource, or just the ground. The active resource will rotate and move so that the selected faces are aligned. Additionally, you can mirror the snap action by clicking on Flip or cancel it altogether by clicking on the X button. Finally, click anywhere to confirm the snapping movement. Keep in mind the snapping function will still be active after confirmation. All these actions are accessible through the Transformation panel. Select Part Origin to display the handles on the Object Origin or User Defined to display the handles wherever you double-click. The resource position is connected to the timeline and it can be defined as constant or dynamic. Constant means the object will have the same position in all milestones. Dynamic means the object can have a different position in each milestone. To assign different positions, just activate the milestone and transform your object accordingly. Note that the default positioning is set to dynamic for all resources. The drop to surface command is used to place the object on the next available surface below it. And lastly, the reposition command is used to place the resource freely using your mouse. As mentioned earlier, most CM Builder resources are parametric so you can adjust their geometry based on the product specs. Click the Adjust button to access the parametric handles and see the list of the available parameters for that resource. 
Parametric handles can be used to adjust the length, angle, or position of the individual parts of the resource, and will vary depending on the specific resource being adjusted. Drag the handles in the viewer to adjust the resource, or alternatively use the sliders and drop-downs from the right-hand side menu. Parameters are also connected to the timeline and can be defined as dynamic or constant. Click on the parameter menu to change its interaction with the timeline and you will notice the parameters will be grouped by their timeline connection. Now let's explore the resource side menu. In the properties tab, you can find the name of the resource and a button to swap it with any other element in the library. For premium and enterprise subscribers, click on show logo to display your branding options for that resource. You can choose between the different images in your branding catalog and the available positions to display them on the resources. You can also define custom colors for your resource by clicking on the available color slots. Choose from system defaults or create your own unique colors. Next. The resource timeline selection will define the first and last milestones in which the resource will be visible in your scenario. In this example, you can see the crane becomes visible on milestone 2 and remains visible until milestone 6. The timeline details will show all milestones in which your resource is visible and if there is any change in position or parameters assigned to a milestone. In the Specs tab, You'll find a summary of the resource specifications and any documentation such as the spec sheets where applicable. You can click on Preview to access the manufacturer's spec sheet and verify critical information like load capacities or sizes. When you're satisfied with the resource placement, simply click Done and it will appear in the model browser list. To make further edits, just double click on the resource or access the editing options in the right-click menu. That's all for the point placement method. In the next video, we will learn about the polyline and guided placement methods. Thank you for watching.